who doesn't crave the succulent, juicy taste of chicken? It's no secret that chicken is many people's favorite protein. My fondest memory is visiting a farm to buy a chicken for a big family gathering. A few weeks later, my cousins and I watched my uncle butcher the chicken. We were sad, but we ate it and it was delicious. Today, I want to share some of my favorite Chinese chicken dishes with you. We'll start with my crispy Chinese chicken with the perfect combination of juicy and crispy in every bite. This is sure to be your new entertaining favorite. Then, I'll make everyone's favorite, chicken wings. These mouth-watering wings are going to get even more delicious with my Asian-inspired twist. And my steamed chicken with sauce will become your new go-to chicken recipe. Easy to make and even easier to eat. It will please even the pickiest eater. With so many unique ways to be prepared, chicken is a meat that never gets boring. With the right preparation, we'll keep your guests guessing with new savory flavors in every bite. Hey, I've got an amazing friend here today, Matt and he's always wanted to learn how to make Chinese crispy fried chicken. That's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna start off with that piece of ginger and slice it up. Okay, so where do I start? All right, wanna grab the cleaver from the drawer? Okay. And I want you to cut this ginger into slices. Cut all of it. And straight down, straight up and down. Perfect. Yes. All right, there we go. Okay, now the fun part is you get to lay these flat, and we're just gonna put the use the flat of the cleaver okay. and just bash it, smash that ginger up. Yeah. Harder, harder! How's that? <laughs> More! Good? Yes! Wow. Perfect. Now that smells pretty good. It smells, that's why you have to smash it. it brings out that flavor. Gotcha. Now we're gonna get this chicken here. Okay. And you're gonna have to untie that string. I don't know how you are with, uh, yes. Okay, now do I cut the string or just unwrap it? Yeah, just unwrap it. We'll retie the legs up in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's kinda like a, a puzzle. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta hold on to the string at the end? Yep. Okay, how's that? Oh, perfect. All right. Remember that ginger you smashed up? Okay. Let's stuff it inside. All right, now all of it? All of it. Okay. Really get in there. All of it goes in there. <laughs> okay, the ginger is inside the chicken now. Perfect. Okay. And I did a little bit of prep for you already. I've got about three stalks of green onion cut up into about two inch pieces. Okay. Let's get all that, stuff that in there. So all this goes in? All of it. Okay. Really get it inside. All right. Okay. All right, remember how the string was tied around the legs? Okay, well, kind of. You'll have to remember how to do that again. Okay. Or improvise, it's okay. okay Just get so those legs together. Now, how tight do I make this? Mm, not too, too tight. That looks about good, as long as it's pressed together. Like this? <laughs> Perfect. Got it. You may want to give your hands a little wash. Okay. Because we're going to put on some salt and uh, other stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we successfully tied the chicken up. What's next? Well, we have to season it with a little bit of salt. Okay. So, want to grab that salt shaker and just okay. measure out about a teaspoon. Okay. And rub it all over. Just like this? And then rub it on the chicken. Rub it on the chicken, all over. Get into the nooks and crannies okay. of the chicken, too. Like this? The crevices, yep. Okay. Yes, massage. Okay. <laughs> They get like butter massage, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, and then flip the bird over to the other side and we'll okay. do another teaspoon. All right. Uh, okay. That's pretty good. And rub that all over, and the wings, the, yes, butter massage. Just get it in butter there. Butter massage. <laughs> all right, okay. Okay, we still need a little bit more flavoring, so we're gonna add about two teaspoons of the rice cooking wine. Okay. Don't mind my reach. Okay. So it's gonna be about a teaspoon for either side. Yeah. I'll just do a little, little one, two, three. And then rub and it again. Rub it again, and then we'll flip it, and then I'll pour another like teaspoon. Okay. All 
Okay, so it's salted, it's stuffed, and it's covered in wine. Mm-hmm. We have to let it sit and marinate for about an hour. Okay. So if you mind going to the fridge there, I've got one already marinating. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the marinated chicken. Perfect. And I've got a pot of water boiling. Drop the entire chicken in. Okay. All right. Careful not to splash. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, the chicken is in. All right. We're gonna cover this up. We're gonna let it boil for about five minutes. Okay. Then we have to turn the heat off, completely off, and just let it sit and cook for 45 minutes. No peeking at all, none. Can all right. we do that? I can do that. All right, no peeking. So the chicken is cooled, chilled, and patted dry, and we're just gonna chop it in half here for frying. So I'm just gonna get trusty cleaver, Run this down just to like mark. Here we go. Ready, aim. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. And Whoa. that was a bad aim. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty don't good. mess with me. <laughs> hey, would you do the honors of checking the oil to see if it's hot enough? Okay, now how do I do that? Stick that in the oil. Just like this? Yeah, perfect. Okay. And we're looking for little air bubbles, like fizzy bubbles, just like a soda pop. So when it moves away from the, the chopstick or anything you put in the oil, it means the oil is ready, okay. it is ready. This looks good to go. It is good to go. So we're gonna turn down the heat just a little bit. Let me hand this chicken to you and slide that puppy in. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, now do I just drop it in there? Yeah, just drop it in, move it. Perfect. All right. And now you're gonna grab a spoon and okay. just kind of ladle some oil just to cover top the top. It? Yeah. Look at that technique. Okay. You missed a spot back there. Okay, got it here. <laughs> got it. Then I keep pouring the oil on top of it. Yes. Give that do up for a few minutes, and we'll give it a little turn. Okay. Now, how am I gonna know when it starts to get ready? You'll know when the skin, the outside, turns as like golden brown. Gotcha. Oh, look at that nice golden brown. It's ready now. Perfect. The trusty spider. All right, just scoop it right up? Yes, scoop it out and then we'll place the, the paper towel here to drain. Yep, this is a two-hand job. You got it, there. you got it, yes. Okay. All right. Put it right here. Oh, yeah, I can hold it. Three, two, one. There. There we go. I think that leg has your name on it. Perfect. Later. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing for the other half here. Okay. Let me hand this over to you. All right, so same process here. Same process. All right, in you go. Oh. <laughs> there we are. I'm gonna show you the proper way how to chop that chicken into pieces. Dun, da, da. So you gotta find this little notch, this bone here. So luckily, it's already been kind of pulled apart. Yeah. Perfect. Now we're gonna find this little notch here, right where the drumstick hits. You can pull it apart. You can yeah. kind of see it and feel it. It's about right there. You can take your knife to just kind of, yeah, it's right there. And with one, okay. one movement, Ooh, yeah, like that, just like that. Now with one solid movement, we're yeah. gonna chop. Okay. Oh, that was a bad one, oh, don't no. worry. Make sure we get that same spot. Okay. And then we'll get this. Oh, that was. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Push this off to the side. We're gonna move to the wing now. Again, finding that notch right here. And chop. <laughs> now this part here, let's try to get about four or five pieces. Ready? Yeah. One. Oh, okay. Oh, two. Oh, I think I'm only gonna get maybe. And the last one. There we go. Three, two, one. And don't forget the wing. Woo! Okay, I'm just gonna finish chopping up the other half of this chicken. All right. Put that part, put the nice breast part over top. It's all about displaying it nicely, too. Da, 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 da. 
Now that we have it cut up, we're just gonna put a little bit of garnish on top. Okay. So I'll leave it to your artistic ability to right. sprinkle some green onion and some parsley that's been roughly chopped. It's your masterpiece. Okay, and how's that? That's perfect. So we're ready to serve this chicken, yep. except we kind of like to always have something to dip the chicken in. Like a sauce or something? Yeah, exactly. This is about four tablespoons of salt, Okay. Uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper, Okay. and about a teaspoon of crushed Szechuan peppercorns. All right. Okay, now, Chin, can I try one of these? Yeah, you did a lot of work today, so of course, help yourself. I'm going for the drumstick. Good choice. Wow. What do you think? Ching, that is delicious. Well, you did you did all that hard work, so you definitely deserve that. And now you know how to make classic Chinese crispy fried chicken. Awesome. The best part of the chicken is not the breasts or the thighs, it's the chicken wings. So we're gonna make Chinese-inspired chicken wings with a hoisin dipping sauce. We're gonna start with a marinade by mincing a clove of garlic. Get my trusty cleaver and just a rough mince. This is my favorite part. Now we're gonna add the main ingredient, which is oyster sauce. We're gonna need about three tablespoons. It's kind of thick, you might have to wait a while. There it comes. Perfect. And now we're gonna have two tablespoons of rice wine. Whoops, I overfilled a little bit, it's okay. A little more doesn't hurt. And we can't forget the soy sauce. So about two tablespoons. One and two. And now we're gonna add about one stalk of green onion, diced or sliced. Da -da 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 -da. Give it a good mix. Now we're ready for our chicken wings. So you need about two and a half pounds of chicken wings. That's roughly 15. Make sure you coat these chicken wings really well. Well, that's really well mixed, so let's grab a baking tray. Lined with some foil here. And we're gonna spread this evenly on the baking tray. Oh boy, delicious. Now they're ready to pop into the oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees. And while they're cooking for about 20, 25 minutes, we're gonna talk about the hoisin dipping sauce. This dipping sauce is real easy to make. Squeeze about half a cup of hoisin sauce into a small pot. Drop in about two big spoonfuls of chili garlic sauce. Pour in enough water to thin out the hoisin sauce. Give it a good, good stir to check the consistency. Drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil to smooth out the texture. Turn on the heat to medium high and stir well, really, really well, until it starts bubbling. When it starts simmering, turn off the heat, spoon into a small bowl, and garnish with roasted crushed peanuts. It's the perfect sauce for Asian-style chicken wings. Wow, look at these chicken wings, that oyster sauce marinade. Amazing, I can't wait to eat them. So let's better plate these. I can already call dibs on this one. In this one. Yep, that one too. Mmm, they smell so good. I can't wait to share these with my friends. We can't forget a little roasted peanuts on the sauce. Oh, 
That's the final touch to finish off these Chinese-inspired chicken wings with hoisin sauce. Now they're perfect for sharing with your friends and family, or just eating them all by yourself. roast the chicken. Today I'm going to show you how to steam a whole chicken. It'll still stay juicy and tender, but also clean and refreshing and super healthy too. And we're going to start by getting a piece of ginger about this big and making eight slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more for good luck. And we're going to start by lightly salting this chicken with about a teaspoon of salt. Just rub it all in there. Make sure you get the other side. Sprinkle a little bit more on. And we can't forget the pepper, so about a teaspoon of pepper. Don't forget the other side. I'm making a mess, but it's okay. Now we're gonna add about two tablespoons of tapioca starch. Rub that in there. Get into the nooks and crannies. So the tapioca firms up the chicken, so we need to make sure we get into all the nooks and crannies, like here. Now that the chicken is all tapioca starched up, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of rice cooking wine. So a tablespoon for each side. A little bit more, doesn't hurt. Whee. Now it's ready to go into the steamer. I've got a pot of boiling water here. Slide this in. Uh-oh, looks like I forgot the ginger. But if it happens to you, don't worry. This is what you do. And we'll just pop the ginger on top of the, the chicken here. And we'll just do this. Perfect. So the chicken's going to steam for about 45 minutes. And about halfway through, though, we have to remember to put in these delicious shiitake mushrooms. We got about 12 of them here, and I've removed the stems because they're too woody to be eaten. But you can save the stems later for a stock or something. And now I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick and easy lemongrass sauce. We're gonna use about one stalk of lemongrass, really finely minced up. And now we're gonna add some soy sauce. It's easy as that. You can add as much or as little as you want. So I'm adding about a quarter cup of soy sauce and that's all there is to it. But the thing is, lemongrass can be really challenging or daunting to work with, but it really, really isn't. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways to work with it. However you prepare lemongrass, you have to cut off the top and remove the first two layers. For curry paste, you'll need to slice it into 1 8 inch thick slices. For a fine mince, using your cleaver, bash the lemongrass to release the essential oils. Then, finely chop it. The smashing allows you to create a fine mince. For soups, cut them into 3 to 4 inch pieces and smash with either a cleaver or a rolling pin to release those essential oils. See? Working with lemongrass is just this easy. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, it's ready. Be careful, try to get all of this chicken. 
three, two, one. And we can't leave the mushrooms behind. And we can't forget to garnish it with a little bit of chopped cilantro here. Hey, remember that sauce we made? Don't forget to serve it with this whole steamed chicken with your family and friends. The best part about chicken is that it goes with everything. And especially when you make the crispy Chinese chicken with that crispy skin, hand it over to me, pile it on my plate, because I will take it all. Chicken wings and oyster sauce are the best, but you add in that hoisin chili sauce, oh my goodness, everybody's going to love them. They're a huge crowd pleaser. Who doesn't love hoisin sauce? When you steam a chicken whole to perfection, it's gonna have that tender juiciness, and especially with this soy sauce lemongrass dip, oh my, it's, it is gonna be perfection in your mouth. No leftovers. Chicken wings are great for snacking, watching television, having a big platter to share with your friends, but when you're making a steamed whole chicken or some crispy Chinese chicken, that's for sitting down, even for a casual weeknight dinner, with your family to eat it whole. Anytime I think of chicken or smell chicken, it just reminds me of an everyday meal with my family. Let's sit down and let's do this.